Hey, Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is Suleiman here and today I'm going to go over the practical scripture of Abraham and how it's mathematically confirmed. And I'm also going to talk about how uh, the scripture of Abraham uh, has been tampered with. Uh, unfortunately, circumcision was not part of the scripture of Abraham and that's why we do not have any proof of authenticity for circumcision that was ever delivered by God's Messenger of the Covenant, Dr. Rashad Khalifa. So, as we can see in the footnote of 2135, the practical scripture of Abraham consists of only four practices. Uh, the contact prayer is Salat, the obligatory charity is Akat, the fasting of Ramadan, and the Hajj pilgrimage. Now, all these practices are mentioned in the Quran. If you look at the footnote here, I have 2135, it says um, Submission Abraham's Religion, and in the footnote you can see it says all duties and practices of submission, the contact prayers, the obligatory charity, the fasting of Ramadan, and the Hajj pilgrimage. Now it says that also in this footnote, it says Muhammad was a follower of Abraham's religion. He delivered the final testament, the Quran. And the third messenger of submission delivered the religion's proof of authenticity. So we have three messengers of submission, and these are their duties. Abraham, his duty was to deliver the practical scripture, namely all the duties of submission, the contact prayer, the obligatory charities, the khat, the fasting of Ramadan, and the Hajj pilgrimage. Now Muhammad was a follower of Abraham's religion, and he delivered the final testament, the Quran, as we see in 16.123. Now the third messenger of Islam was Dr. Rashad Khalifa, and he delivered the religion's proof of authenticity. Thus, the religion includes the practical scripture of Abraham and the written scripture, the Quran, right? These are the two fundamental parts of our religion. One is our religious practices, the, the practical scripture, and then we have the Quran. So we have the practical scripture and we have the written scripture. And then the third messenger delivers the proof of authenticity for the religion. So the religion consists of the Quran, uh, the written scripture and the practical scripture submission so the messenger of the covenant has given us proof of both the written scripture and the practical scripture thus one of the main duties of the messenger of the covenant was to provide the proof of authenticity of abraham's religion this includes salat zakat fasting and hajj so god's messenger of the covenant completed his mission and he provided the proof of authenticity for Salat, Zakat, Fasting, and Hajj. And God tells us that the messengers uh, will complete their message. They, they, their duty is to complete the message. No messenger is ever going to leave an incomplete message. In 6.1.14, Quran proclaims that the Quran is complete, perfect, and fully detailed as stated as Appendix 18, and that the religious regulations not specifically instituted in the Quran constitute a religion other than Islam, that is the mission. 42.21 and 17.46 It says, Shall I seek other than God as a source of law when he has revealed to you this book fully detailed? Those who receive the scripture recognize that it has been revealed from your Lord, truthfully. You shall not harbor any doubt. Thus, one of the main duties of the Messenger of the Covenant was to provide the proof of authenticity of Abraham's religion. This includes Salat, Zakat, Fasting, and Hajj. God's Messenger of the Covenant completed his mission and provided that proof of authenticity for Salat, Zakat, Fasting, and Hajj. Thus, due to the fact that circumcision was never mentioned in the Quran, coupled by the fact that the Messenger of the Covenant never delivered a single mathematical proof of authenticity for circumcision, proves to us that it was never a part of the practical scripture of Abraham. So the mathematical proof of authenticity that I'm just about to share was delivered in the video, Friday's Sermons 1987 by Dr. Rashad Khalifa. And um, in this video, Dr. Rashad Khalifa provided evidence that all religious practices of Islam are mathematically coded, intertwined, and confirmed in the Quran. 
זקת, סיום, פסטינג, אנחת, זהו, it turns out, you can look at the index of the Quran, and Salat is mentioned 67 times, Zakat is mentioned, I believe, 6 times, uh, no, 32 times. Siyam is nine ti uh, 6 times, and Hajj, 9 times, where are they? Yeah. Let us add these together. These are the numbers of times these basic duties in Islam are mentioned. 7 and 2 is 9, 15, 24. 2 and 6 is 8, and 3 is 11. 114. The same number of surahs as the Quran. Or 19 times 6. Okay, that's not the big deal here. But <laughs> well, this, is, this is profound. But what is really profound is that you take the word Salat, Everywhere the word Salat is found in the Quran. Take the number of the surah and the numbers of the verses. These are the numbers assigned to the ayat. And you add them up. And the total for Salat is 4, 6, 7, 4. This is a multiple of 19. And then you take Siyam. I'm going to take Siyam first. And you, you do the same thing. You take the numbers of the surahs and the numbers assigned to the verses and add them up. And the total is 1,387. A multiple of 19. This is 19 times 73. You take Zakat, the 32 of them, Everywhere the word zakat is found in the Quran. You take the number of the surah and the numbers assigned to the verses. And the total is 2395. Now the computer did all this. Now this here is not a multiple of 19. It is up by 1. But then you go to Hajj. And you find that the total in the same manner is... Uh, Six, four, five. This is not a multiple of 90, it is down by one. So but when you add all, all of them together, the total, of course, is a multiple of 19. And so what we see there is, you know, Salat is mentioned 67 times. Obligatory charity, Zakat is mentioned 32 times. Fasting is mentioned six times. And Hajj is mentioned nine times. So if you add these numbers, 67 plus 32 plus 6 plus 9 it gives us 114 which is 19 times 6 so not only is this number a multiple of 19 it is the same number as the number of chapters in the Quran so no such mathematical confirmation was delivered by Rashad Khalifa in the Quran that confirms circumcision in fact it was never even mentioned once there's also mathematical proof for the authenticity of, of all practices delivered in Appendix 1. Number 1, the contact prayer, Salat. The word Salat occurs in the Quran 67 times. So when we add the number of surahs and the verses of these 67 occurrences, the total comes to 4674 or 19 times 246. Okay, number 2 is fasting. The commandment to fast is mentioned in 2, 183, 184, 185, 187, 196, 492, 589, 95, 33, 35, uh, 35, and 58, 4. The total of these numbers is 1387 or 19 times 73. It is noteworthy that 33, 35 mentions fasting twice one for believing men and one for believing women the obligatory charity zakat and hajj while salat and fasting are obligatory upon all muslim men and women the zakat and hajj are decreed only for those who can afford them this explains the interesting mathematical phenomenon associated with zakat and hajj okay, the obligatory charity zakat is mentioned 
in these verses right here. And these numbers add up to be 2,395. This total does not quite make it a multiple of 19. It is up by 1, interestingly. Now, if you look at Hajj, it occurs in 2,189, 196, 97, 93, and 2,227. These numbers add up to be 645, and this total does not quite make it as a multiple of 19. It is down by 1. Thus, Sakat and Hajj together give a total of 2,395 plus 675 equals 3,040, which is 19 times 160. Once again, no such mathematical confirmation was delivered by Dr. Rashad Khalifa in the Quran that confirmed circumcision. In fact, it was not even mentioned once. Now there is additional mathematical proof of authenticity delivered for the religious duties of submission in Appendix 15. Now Appendix 15 really goes into a lot of detail. Once again, Abraham delivered the practical scripture, and then you have Muhammad who delivered the written scripture, and then Rashad Khalifa delivered the mathematical proof of authenticity of submission. And this includes the mathematical proof of both the Quran and the practices in submission. Since not even a single mathematical proof of authenticity was delivered by Dr. Rashad Khalifa in favor of circumcision, it is now mathematically proven by Dr. Rashad Khalifa that this practical scripture of Abraham consists of only four practices. These four practices are Salat, Zakat, Fasting, and Hajj.